Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody has been doing well. So today I thought I would show you how to get the brass removed from the plugs. Now I probably have done, I don't know, around 200 of these and two of them I have found these were steel. So just a quick check with the magnet. They're brass. Okay. So, just like to set them in the vise like this. And I like to use my side cutters. They get a better grip than with pliers, in my opinion. And so then, I just grip it at the bottom there, and then I just kind of twist it this way. And then as soon as the side cutter hits the vise, I just kind of use that and I just pry it up just like that and there's the piece same song sometimes the brass comes out without the copper but that's okay and a lot of times a ground plug will break that came out not too bad okay I'll do a, another one here get that in the vise just pry, and there it is. Super simple. Hope you can see what I'm doing on the camera. And that just pries out, takes the copper with it. Now this is a, the plug that came off of that chainsaw that I did. I think I'm gonna just cut some of this material away so I can reach down inside because you can see it'd just be easier if I just get this stuff out of the way. It cuts pretty easily. That's just the same thing, you know. And there it is. Pretty simple. Okay, so now, if you don't have a vise, I'm going to move my camera here. Let's see. Get it kind of raised up here. If you don't have a vise, you can still do it. It is just a little bit more difficult. You just got to get yourself some sort of pliers and hold on to it, but it's the same, same idea. It just with the vise is so much easier. As you can see, that vise holds it well for you and it's hard to get a good grip. <clears throat> it's a lot harder, but it did work. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. A tip, though, if you don't have a vise and you have to use pliers, if you set these out in the hot sun for like four or five hours, this material will soften up a lot. And that stuff will pull out so much easier. If you have a vise, you don't have to worry about putting it out in the sun. It's easy enough. That brings me to these giant plugs. which are found on dryers or electric ovens. These can be really, really difficult to move because this is just really solid rubber plastic type material. Again, put this out in the hot sun four or five hours and this material will soften up. It is absolutely amazing how soft it gets. And then this stuff will pull out just as easy as these pulled out in the vise. Unfortunately, it hasn't been sunny here, so I, I can't show you, but as soon as I have a hot sunny day, I'm gonna do it and I'll make a video and I'll show you how easy they come out after they have baked in the sun. Okay, so here we are. These pieces. We got the brass and we got the copper. I actually cut the copper off because copper is worth more than brass. It may not be a lot of weight, but it does add up. You can just throw these in with your brass. 
even though it has copper on there because brass is made with copper and zinc. But you can't put this in with your copper because copper is its own element. And with this brass, they, they're just gonna call it brass. So up to you. You can clip the wires off or throw it in the brass. Choice is yours. I clip them off. Okay, now the other thing I was gonna show you was how to scrap outlets. And these are pretty simple. They're always gonna have brass inside. Now, these screws here, screws on each side, more times than not, they're steel. You see, it sticks. Sometimes they're brass. If they are steel, you're gonna want to remove them now because as you unscrew them near the end, it gets really tough. But you've got this whole plug to hold on to. I got an example here. These are the brass that you'll find inside the outlets, but the screws are still on there. But now I don't have much to hold on to. And you'll see it when it gets near the end, it is just a little bit more difficult. It's not, it's not like impossible. It just, you got less material. Now, sometimes it can be a little difficult. And so you can use your side cutters and just kind of just slightly, slightly squeeze on the screw and turn it. But I recommend that you remove them while you still have the whole plug to hold on to. What's great about these outlets, like I said, they're always gonna be brass inside and you can find these everywhere. Yeah, it, it's not a lot of weight, but it's still scrap. Okay, I just got this one last screw and I'm gonna remove here. It's so much easier when you got the whole outlet to hold on to. Okay, so now the screws are removed. I'm gonna get my safety glasses on. Got the hammer. Now, between this white part and this black part, there's a seam there. And you're gonna wanna just pound on that, flip it over. I can make a little bit of a mess, but hey, it's work, right? <laughs> so there's the garbage. Okay. Now there's the brass. There's the brass. Now these little parts right here, let me see it on the camera. Those are brass. So I just peel them off with my side cutters. It's not much, but you might as well get it. And there it is. And that's just your scrap steel. And then a little bit of copper wire right there. So, yeah, super easy. Here, I'll do another one. Get my safety glasses back on. Just gotta remove the, the screws. They're nice when the screws are brass because then you can just leave them in because then the whole thing will be brass, but they rarely ever are brass. Some of them, just make sure it's brass colored, but no, magnet sticks to it. So it's steel. Hope you guys have been finding some really good scraps. After I'm done doing this, I'm gonna show you stuff that I found yesterday. Okay, get the hammer. Whoa, it's a mess. Piece of brass, piece of brass. Get that brass off. Get that brass likes to break easy, but you can get it all. 
And there it is. Oh, there's a little little piece of copper right there. Let me get my safety glasses off. You always want to get all the copper. You know, there's some places that people are getting three, three fifty a pound for copper. So man, the money can add up fast with those kind of prices. A little piece of copper. The rest is just scrap metal. And there it is. A pile of brass. And then the brass prongs from the plugs. Super easy. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and show you my finds. It's a candlestick holder, solid brass. There's a drill there. It's burnt out, doesn't work. Some more brass. This is a big giant soldering iron, but that tip is gonna be copper. A little fan, there's a motor in there. A little battery charger. There's some sort of box and there's a transformer in there. Some other goodies. That's a piece of copper. This is gonna be uh, your like zinc aluminum or die cast. My scrapyard just calls it cast aluminum, so I just throw it in with my cast. Your scrapyard might have their own section. This is aluminum, some aluminum. That's brass, piece of brass, a couple plugs there. And then I can get this on camera. That is an old floor washer. It's pretty heavy. And I'm gonna be making a video here shortly showing you how to take it apart and what's inside. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I just ask that you would please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like this video. And I just hope you guys have a great week. And I pray to God that he will bless you. All right, my friends. I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.